So uh, I got that job when I was in D.C. I'm not from New York. I'm from D.C. And uh, moved up here about two years ago. So uh, I think during Christmas, I went to go visit my, my family. And I was trying to reminisce with them. But you ever have a lot of stuff happen to you when you were a kid, make a lot more sense now that you're older? You know what I mean? Like, oh my God, I, was going, I know what I was going on. It's making me, oh my God. It's making, oh, it's not that, okay, anyway. So <laughs> I just found out that I grew up poor. I just found that out. Because uh, <laughs> when you're a kid, you don't really know you're poor. You're too young to understand what it is, you know? Like as a kid, they're like, oh, I guess going to bed hungry and cold is normal. Because <laughs> <you're, laughs> you don't know anything. But looking back, being poor was kind of cool. You know, like, oh my God, marshmallow sandwiches. Okay, okay. Oatmeal for dinner, hell yeah. And then you start getting suspicious when you go over your friend's houses, right? You go over your friend's house, like, ooh, this house is warm. This is the warm house. <laughs> yeah, Jermaine, you hungry? You got food? <laughs> we were broke. We had no money. But my parents didn't want to tell us that we were broke, so they tried to like, hide it from me by playing games. And they were fun. Uh, <laughs> one, of the, <laughs> one of the games they played, I remember I was coming back home from elementary school, and it's 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and it's December, and I go in the house, and it's dark, and none of the lights are working. I'm trying to flick them on, ain't working. And there are candles everywhere. I'm like, Ma, you in the house? I'm like, yeah, I'm in the living room. So I go to the living room. I'm like, Ma, what's up? The house, the lights ain't working. And he's like, look, Jermaine, we're going to play a little game this winter. I'm like, ah! Ah! What's the game? What's the game? What's the game? And she said, we're going to play a game called Polar Bears. I'm like, Polar Bears? What's Polar Bears? Tell me, tell me. And she goes, Polar Bears is a game you play. We don't have enough money to pay electric bills this month. I'm like, okay, okay. But two days in, you're like, I don't want to play Polar Bears anymore, mama. Can you play volcanoes or something hot and warm? Mm. So I would freeload over my friend Chris's house all the time because he had what I wanted, like blankets. And I felt terrible. <laughs> I felt terrible because he gave me everything I wanted, but I couldn't offer him anything. You know what I mean? Like over Chris's house, he'd be like, hey, Jermaine, you thirsty? I'd be like, yeah, yeah, here's some juice. When I come over to my house, he'd be like, Jermaine, I'm cold. I'd be like, me too. So I couldn't help him. I'm hungry, I know, right? Right? It's like polar bears. <laughs> my dad was the worst. My dad grew up in the ghettos of DC. Like, yeah, that. Mm -hmm. He grew up in that. And uh, he was like real militant and tough, you know, because he grew up in the ghetto. And he kind of took it out of me when I was, you know, when he disciplined me and my brothers, you know? And it made no sense half the time, you know? Like, if I came back home with bad grades, my dad would take my report card and be like, Jermaine, these are bad grades. Do you want to see what happens in a bad grade in school? Do you want to see what happens? And he put me in the car and then drive me to the most dangerous areas of the neighborhood, just driving and driving. And then he stopped the car, then rolled down his window and point at crackheads and yelled like, you want to be like that? That crackhead over there, huh? That's what happens in a bad grade in school, man. That's what happens. The crackhead's like, what the hell is your problem, man? <laughs> But it wouldn't stop there, he'd go up to bus stops, you know what I mean? Like, hey, Jermaine, this is what happens to get bad grade in school, you can't afford a car, like these dudes over here. And the crackhead's like, are you following me? What are you doing? 